tsakiya fili a matsa a tura a gyara yau ta arbauci ta yi cikin kwari dukkan tsofin gwamnati dukkan tsofin sakataren gwamnati sakatarorin gwamnati na ji arbauci dukkan tsofin shugabannin ma'aikata welcome to uh, this telecast coming to you live on the platforms of the Nigerian Television Authority NTA uh, it is an official commissioning ceremony of the new structures put in place at the Bochi State Government House, uh, expected to be commissioned by the... Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, with your permission. Remember, the program that is coming to you is live from uh, Bochi State House. Um, it is expected that the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kashim Shatima, uh, will commission the restructuring, uh, reconstruction and rehabilitation project of the entire government house in Bochi State. Uh, my name is Abdullah Aminu and I'm going to be your guide. And the Chapter Association of Nigeria, Bochi Chapter, Your Excellency, to give us an opening prayer. Babali Iman Azo Ayimana Adua, Ina Shugaban Khan. Oh, the representative of the chairman can. Amato, to Gasunande Kusa. Prayer is a yawa. Kay Subhana. Bismillah, Baba Lima. Ozbillah Minashid Ani Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Ashrafil Mursaleen Sayyidina Wa Nabiyina Wa Mawlana Muhammadin Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Sallam Jamaa Muhi Salati Wa An Nabi Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala wa sahabihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin salatan tufadna biha min al-ngalabi wa al-kahari Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Salatan tunjina biha min jami'i al-ahwali wa al-afati Wa taqalilana biha jami'i al-hajati Wa tutaykhiruna biha min jami'i al-sayyati Wa tarba'una biha indaka ala al-darajati Wa tuballiguna biha aksal gayat min jami'i al-khayrati fi al-khayati wa ba'da al-mamati Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi Subhanallahi al-azim سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وبنك يا الله ما توك كن سرقي منا قديا غريكا كدوك إمومين دكاي منا قديا وندك ما سني من قارن إمومين كا كنا جوا ولا إنشكر تل لا زيدنكم وبنك يا الله منا قديا غريكا Deka kau bobomba kau muter dewa garasa, labia zua jahar bauci, 
lafiya zuwa wannan guri muna godiya gare ka muna rokon ka shugabannin mutun daga shugaban kasa mataimakin sa gwamnan bauchi da sauran gwamnoni sarki na bauchi da sauran sarakunan Najeriya Allah madaukakin sarki ka kare mana su ka kara musu lafiya ka kara musu fahimta ka kara musu juriya domin su warware dukkan matsalolin da ke Najeriya musamman natsaro da rayuwa wanda yake mawuyaci da sauran abubuwan da zai amfani al'umma ya Allah muna roƙon ka da babban muriya wannan mahalli wannan gida da wannan jiha da kasa Allah ka kare mu Allah ka kare ta ubangiji Allah ka kare dukkan shugabannin mu da dukkan jama'a wannan taro da muke yi a nan Allah ya sa mu yi shi lafiya mu gama lafiya kuma dukkan alherorin da ke cikin wannan taro Allah ka ba mu shi dukkan sharrori da ke ciki Allah ka nisanta mu da shi Allah kamar yadda ka tara mu alaman hadin kai Allah ka kara hadin kan shugabannin mu da mu baki daya ya Allah ka san bukatun kowan Allah ka biya mana su da moyin da muke ciki Allah ka yi mana maganin su abubuwan da muke tsoro ubangiji Allah ka amintar da mu Allah ka taimake mu Allah ka sa mu gama lafiya Allah shi kai gida kowa gida lafiya ya hayyu ya qayyum ya zul jalal wal ikram Allahumma salli ala sayidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ala alihi wa ala alihi wa ala alihi wa ajriya maulana hafiya lutfika fi umurina wa arina sira salakal jamilu fi ma namuluhu indaka ya rabbal alami subahana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala almursalin alhamdulillahi rabbil alami In the same vein, Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you indeed for this day that is so historic in the life of Bauchi State. Very grateful, Heavenly Father, for the joy that you have endowed us with today through the instrumentality of good work. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the Vice President who is here in Bauchi State, son of the soil. We honor you for his life. We honor you, Heavenly Father, for the life of our governors from the Northeastern states. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for using them mightily to give hope to us in this access. Similarly, we'd like to appreciate you, Heavenly Father, for our former governors in Bauchi State. Thank you for their lives and thank you for the good work they have established that today we are recording another milestone in the life of Bauchi State. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for our traditional leaders using the Amy of Bauchi as a point of contact to all our traditional leaders. Father, bless them and protect them from all harms and evil. Indeed, we are very grateful and sincerely grateful for the chief host, our governor, our father, that has worked tirelessly to ensure that what his predecessors have done will not just stop there. And he has taken us to a greater height. Here we are to commission an edifice. We have seen a new Bochi state in the hands of God. And so, Father, we pray for protection for Governor Kaura of Bochi state. We pray for more wisdom for him. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you uh, open more sources for him to have enough money to work in Bochi State so that the people of Bochi State will keep enjoying the democ I mean, dividends of democracy. Thank you for everybody that has fine time to come. Our prayer is that after these meetings, after this celebration, you will take everybody back to his destination sound and safe. Thank you, Father, for honoring us. And thank you for the gift of one another. This is our endless prayer. For we pray believing that you have heard us. And you will do more exceedingly than we ask of you. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Uh, we have uh, observed prayers uh, from the chief imam of the Bauchi uh, Jumad Central Mox and the Khan Chairman Bauchi State, Reverend Abraham Imaus Damina. They were praying for unity and progress of the entire northeastern region of the country and the Nigeria as a nation. They were also praying for a successful uh, conduct of this uh, commissioning ceremony by the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kashim Shatima. His Excellency Babagana Umara Zulum, the Executive Governor of Borno State, the Vice Chairman of the Northeast Governors Forum, the Executive Governor of Adamawa State, Alaji Ahmad Umaru Fintri, the Host Governor, our amiable Governor, a governor by excellence, distinguished Senator Bala Abdulgadri Muhammad, CON Kauran Bauchi Kauran Dawlar Usmania, with his amiable wife, the first Saraunia of Bauchi, the first lady of Bauchi State, Dr. Aisha Bala Muhammad. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Gombe State, Muhammad Inua Yahaya, Damajan Gombe, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Yobe State, Mai Malabuni, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Taraba State, Dr. Agbu Kefas, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Bauchi State, Right Honorable Muhammad Awal Jatau, the speakers of the six states in the Northeast sub-region that are here present with us, Honorable Ministers of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that are here present with us, members of the National Assembly that are here present with us, former governors of Bauchi State, with a special recognition to Major General Chris Abutu Garaba, a military soul administrator of Bauchi State, Colonel Theopolis Obami Boy, a former military soul administrator of Bauchi State, His Excellency, the governor, former governor of Bauchi State, Alaji Ahmad Adamu Mazu, Wali in Bauchi. His Excellency, the former Governor of Bauchi State, Alaji Dr. Amalan Isa Yuguda, Matawalan Bauchi, the former Governor of Bauchi State, His Excellency Muhammad Abdullah Abubakar, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Your Royal Highnesses that are here present with us, His Royal Highness the Emir of Bauchi, His Royal Highness the Emir of Duku, the Emir of Gombe in Gombe State, your Royal Highness Emir of Katagum, Your Royal Highness Emir of Misau, Your Royal Highness Emir of Jamare, Your Royal Highness Emir of Das, representative of His Royal Highness Emir of Ningi, the Managing Director of Northeast Development Commission. Your Excellency, permit me to specially recognize the presence of all the former Deputy Governors of Bauchi State that are here present with us, the former Secretary to the Federal Government of Nigeria, Dr. Mahmoud Yala Ahmad, the State Chairman of PDP Bauchi State, the State Chairman of APC Bauchi State, the former Senators and former Reps members, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, that time will not permit me to acknowledge you one after the other. Your Excellency, we want to use this medium to welcome each and every one of us to this auspicious occasion, an occasion that will remain to be in the mind of all and sundry, the official commissioning of the new government house, Bauchi. 
Your Excellency, it will be a testifying fact by the former governors of Bauchi State for them today to come and look at the new government house of Bauchi, a dream that has come true. Before Your Excellency, the entire government house of Bauchi State has only 26 offices. But today, we have 61 newly branded new good EDPs that was constructed under the administration of distinguished Senator Bala Abdul Kadri Muhammad. Your Excellency, we don't intend to take your time, but with your permission, we'll be chipping in Hausa because we want to carry along each and every one, not only within Bauchi State, but Nigeria at whole. And Your Excellency, it's good for you to know that today, whoever is who in Bauchi State, he is here to accompany you for the commissioning of the new Bauchi State Government House. My Mugadeshin Shugabang Kasatare and Nigeria, Tare the Dukan Sauram, Manyam Baji, what the This is an explanation that has gone in English and now been translated into Hausa. It is about the legacy project that the governor of Bauchi State, Bala Abdul Qadir Muhammad, has provided. It could be recalled that the governor has once said the projects are part of his administration efforts as a government and of the people to ensure that it leaves landmarks and legacies behind for prosperity. It is a 6.2 billion naira projects of reconstruction and rehabilitation of the entire government house in Bauchi State. For some people that are following the construction project, uh, it could be recalled that during the breaking ceremony of the projects, Governor Bala Muhammad said his office received quotations from 13 different, uh, different companies with the least of 13 billion naira quotation. It was after due process that his office uh, has resolved uh, to take the project, which was scaled down to 6.2 billion naira, with phase one of the project being the construction of the governor's office. Uh, this is significant try, uh, stride towards modernization to achieving an improved administrative uh, functionality under his administration. The Bauchi state is proudly inaugurating the newly constructed governor's office and all the uh, structures put in place which is of the which are of the world class standard the main building is housing uh, the governor's office and other key government offices to the highest uh, standards uh, in the explanation it was said that the project which is the first of its kind in the history of the Bauchi State Government House is expected in just some little time that the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kashim Shatima, will commission them properly. Yeah, well, we are just waiting for the time when His Excellency, the Vice President, will come back to take his seat, then the Honorable Commissioner will now make the formal welcome address. Ama Museni Ikanjewa Muja Bauchi Ayo, Yakas and Chairman Abin Al Bahari, Babus and Chen PDP, Babus and Chen APC, Babus and Chen Abga, Babus and Chen Meho Tonkuri Genama, Duk Munkas and Che Abu Gudani, Doming, Chied the Jahar Bauchi Gaba. Is an Akadiga Kaisa Day to a politic in Yakari, say the governors. Say Kuma Jira Loka Chinda, that though I sat a Kuma Apaje, do me the Mantuchiwa and Nemikurang Al Uma. Munagara Gudia, the Gilma Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, what the NIB and Atakesa Wane and Zuda Manyambaji, the age even now in Al Uma the Sukazosu, Sukha, the Mansu Rupa Masabaya, yet to Dole Tashi, Yejeshi, the Mansu Gaisa, Hanu the Hanu, Chul the Chul, Gaden and Levin Sohua. Thank you so much. The, the Honorable Commissioner, sir.
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یو ایکسلنسی دی وائس پریزیڈنٹ اف دی فیڈرل ریپبلک اف نائجیریا سنتا کاشم شتیما جی سی او این یو ایکسلنسی دی ایگزیکٹو گورنر اف باوچی سنتا بالا عبد القادر محمد کورن باوچی کورن دولت عثمانیا یو ایکسلنسیز The executive governors of uh, Borno, Yobe, Adamawa, Taraba, and Gombe. All protocol duly and respectively observed. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this historic commissioning of the reconstruction of and upgrading of Government House Bauchi. I would like to acknowledge and commend the poor side of our boss, our mentor, the People's Governor, Senator Bala Abdelkader Mohammed Kauran Bauchi, Kauran Dora Usmania, for his zeal on infrastructural revolution in the state, the reconstruction and upgrading of Government House is among the numerous people's oriented projects and many legacies of Senator Bala Abdelkader Mohammed Gawran Bauchi. He will therefore ever remember for the unprecedented achievements in Bauchi. Your Excellency, the successive administration in the state did not see the need for a befitting seat of government they were contented to use the previous governor's office, which lacked the necessary conducive atmosphere and the aesthetic to be number one office building hosting governor of the state. To give you insight of how inconvenient the previous office was, I want to tell you that three directors, including some genius subs, were accommodated in just one room. Beside the inconveniences, by this arrangement, it also led to the lack of secrecy and official activities in the office of the governor. It is unbelievable that offices in some ministries, departments, and agencies in the state, such as Treasury uh, Directorate, Internal Revenue Services, State Secretariat, ETC, which are administratively lower in status, better than the previous governor's office. It is therefore against this backdrop that the visionary leader, the governor of Allah, Mohammed Kauran Bauchi, opened his assumption in office as the elected governor in 2019, wasted no time in making preparations to reconstruct this new structure and award the contract in November 2022 to Actronics Limited after following the necessary due process. Governor Obala Mohammed Kauran Bauchi ensures that projects are executed according to contractual specifications and does not condone cutting corners by the staff of supervisory ministry and contractors. As a prudent manager of resources, he always ensure values for money in execution projects. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, the new office complex is one of the key components of the completed project. It comprises 61 number of offices as against the 23 number of offices in the previous governor's office. It also has 11 number of chambers for meetings including ESCO chambers against the two chambers in the previous office building. It is therefore my belief that the new office complex enhance, will enhance the, and ensure a conducive atmosphere for, to allow the members and the team, management team of His Excellency to work and discuss their responsibilities uh, appropriately. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my uh, honor and privilege 
to welcome His Excellency, the Vice President of Nigeria, Senator Kashim uh, GCON, and Amiable Governor of Bochi State, and the Governors of Northeast, and all other uh, uh, distinguished dignitaries here. I wish you uh, safety, uh, stay here, and uh, uh, safety arrival back to your uh, destination. I acknowledge the presence of my, my mom, uh, the first lady of Bauchi, Aja Aisha to Bala Muhammad, the surrounding of Bauchi. Assalamu alaikum. Well, thank you so much, the Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Housing and Environment, for the official and formal welcome address. Your Excellencies, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, sir, I was just being signaled and recall my memory. Yesterday we had the information of the date of one of our former military soul administrators, Garba Duba, may his soul rest in perfect peace. And Your Excellency, our uh, former governors, Bello Khalil is led. Tatari Ali is led. Dairu Deba is led. Yana Kalau is led. Joshua Madaji is led. And yesterday we had the news on the date of Garba Duba. Would you have permission, Your Excellency, if you so wish, may we stand for one minute silence for those former governors that have passed away, all with your permission, Your Excellency, if you so permit. Thank you so much. May we all stand for, for one minute silence in remembrance of all these former governors that have passed away about you said. Thank you. May they are all raised in public peace. Thank you with that permission, Your Excellency. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, without taking much of our time, may I quickly invite the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Mass Architect Knox Limited, Mr. Ruben Okoya, to come to the microphone and make his remark. Mr. Ruben, an extreme architect. Um, Your Excellency, the well-spoken, hard-working, and above all, very, very experienced Vice President of this great, great nation of ours. Welcome, sir. Uh, may I acknowledge the presence of the governors here from the Northeast, the governors of Yobe, Borno, Adamawa, Gombe, Tar and Taraba states. May I especially acknowledge the presence of my boss, my mentor, my leader, distinguished Senator Bala Mohammed, and his beautiful wife, um, Aisha. Thank you, sir. Um, members of the National Assembly, present and state assemblies, honorable ministers, former governors, royal fathers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, um, I stand before you here this afternoon very proud, very, very proud of what we have accomplished in this government house. Um, Mr. Vice President, governors, um, today you are commissioning the People's House, Government House of Bauchi State. Every square meter of this facility belongs to the people of Bauchi State, not to anybody. Um, um, His Excellency, my senior brother, is called many names. Mr. Projects, Karan Bauchi, so many titles. But I call him Mr. Project Manager, the way he manages me. Um, I'll tell you a short story, not too long. About four or five days ago, His Excellency came to pray in this mosque right here at about 6.30 p.m. And he walked around this square and he saw some granite missing. We had done it wrong. And um, he came to the government house he had just come from Abuja, I believe. 
So I went to greet him, and he said, Ruben, you've not installed my granite yet. What is wrong with you? Why are you delaying this project? And he was right. So I called my project man. I, before I called my project manager, I said, Your Excellency, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Please, I'm sorry, sir. I called my project manager and scolded him. He said, Oga, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. The project manager called the project engineer. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. The engineer called the tiler. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. So many I'm sorry's were said that evening, but the work started at 9 p.m. that night to get it done. Um, thank you and applaud for the governor. Truth be told, um, the tiler said, I'm sorry, sir, to the engineer. Engineer said, I'm sorry, sir, to the project manager. Project manager said, I'm sorry, sir, to me. I said, I'm sorry, sir, to the governor. I wonder who the governor said, I'm sorry, sir, to. Maybe Allah at that point. But anyway, that's to show you the kind of detail and the kind of focus he, had on, he has on doing projects. Um, Your Excellency, um, let me thank the Ministry of Housing for a great job done, supervising us diligently. In this government house, we have offices, nine office buildings, for the deputy governor, for the governor, for the first lady, there's a generator house, there's water houses, there are residences, and if you look around, you will see a solid, solid, three meter high concrete fence, which protects government house. So it's a sanctuary of security for governance. Um, multi-use building and this grandstand, which is named after our esteemed uh, mayor of Bauchi, who is also present here. Uh, your, your Majesty, welcome, sir. Um, anyway, um, just to give you an idea, about 35,000 square meters, 35,000 square meters of habitable space have been added to this government. That's equivalent to seven football fields of of, of space added to this government house. It's incredible when you think about it. And we built it in about, about two, two or three years, getting it done. Um, when you go into, this, into the structure, you will see an architectural masterpiece of a linear design, really well done, that will rival the architecture of any part of this country, or as, as a matter of fact, any part of the world. Your Excellency, congratulations for guiding us for supervising us, for monitoring us to get this edifice done. The quality is unmatched. First of all, we are a local company, not Julius Berger, we're a local company, and we've done well. Your Excellency, thank you for the opportunity. And local content was actually um, used here. All the granite for this project was gotten from Bauchi State. Every square meter of granite was from Bauchi State. His Excellency warned me, he said, Ruben, if you buy Bauchi State from outside Bauchi State, if, sorry, if you buy granite from outside Bauchi State, I will deal with you. And he was serious. So I followed his footsteps and thank you for endeavoring and forcing us to recirculate the finances that came to us. Thank you, Excellency. Um, in closing, let me say that um, have a great tour of the governor's office. Um, God bless His Excellency the governor. God bless Bauchi State, and most of all, God bless Nigeria. Thank you. That was the chairman and CEO of Messis Architectronics Limited, Mr. Ruben Okoye. Your Excellency, permit me at this juncture for the goodwill message to invite the former military governor of Bauchi State from 1985 to 1988. Your Excellency, I have the distinct privilege to invite Major General Retired Chris Abutu Garba to come to the podium for the goodwill message. Let's put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome him. <laughs>
Excellency Senator Kashim Shetima, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, GCON, Your Excellency Senator Bala Abdukadri Mohammed, Executive Governor of Bauchi State. The Deputy Governor of Bauchi State, members of the National and State Assemblies, respected traditional and religious leaders, members of the Northeast Governors Forum, and governors of the six. Northeastern states here present. Please permit me to stand on all established protocols for the sake of time and for the sake of the sun, which is coming up very fast. One evening, let me just tell you a story. One evening, about two years ago, a friend of mine called me and said he wanted to be sure I was still alive because he was watching TV, the TV, Arise TV, and someone was making a comment and named some former military officers, including, I quote, the late General Chris Garber, unquote. My friend, after speaking with me, called back the person. The person, in turn, reached out to me and apologized. I didn't take off, I didn't take any offense because some of us have made a, decis a decision to stay quiet, to remain quiet in retirement, but always willing to answer whenever we are called. I'm therefore very excited that the governor of Bauchi State, His Excellency, Senator Bala Mohammed is not one of those who think I am dead. And therefore, no need to invite a dead man. Your Excellency, thank you very much. I am particularly happy that I'm here for a good developmental project. Many people do not realize that a government house is the pride of the people of the state. It does not also belong to the current governor. The government house belongs to the people. It is the people's project. From here, governments of many years to come will serve the people of the state, many of whom 
may be children today, but will be men and women tomorrow. It requires vision and determination to embark on this kind of project. I left here, Bauchi State, about 36 years ago as a military governor of the state. I observe that a whole lot has changed since then. I'm particularly impressed by the commitment of Senator Bala Mohammed to the development of the state as shown in the developmental strides. I can sense and see love for the people. My experience in life has taught me that if, if you love the people, you will work for them. I urge you all and all others in government to continue to govern with love and compassion, and God will help you. I wish the governor good health, long life, happiness, and every success in the years ahead. Thank you all very much, and may God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency, retired Major General Chris Abuto Garuba. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, also for the goodwill message, permit me, Your Excellency, to invite the former Executive Governor of Bauchi State, His Excellency, Alaji Ahmed Adamu Maazu, Commander of the Order of Niger, William Bauchi, to come to the podium for the goodwill message. Your Excellency, sir. Bismillah Samuel Alim, Mila Shaylan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Wassalatu Wassalamu Ala Nabi Al Karim. With profound thanks and gratitude today, I stand before you to welcome, for and on behalf of everybody, especially my, our leader, the governor of Bauchi State, His Excellency Senator. Bala Abdul Qadir Muhammad, His Excellency Senator Kashim Shatima, Grand Commander of the Niger, our very able Vice President. Your Excellencies, the governors of Adamawa, Borno, Gombe, Yobe, and Taraba states, and our very able 
competent Mr. Project, the Gaurao Bauchi, our brother, Senator Bala Abdulkari Muhammad, the host governor. Distinguished members of the National Assembly, distinguished honorable speakers and members of the various houses of assemblies present here, my dear brothers and colleagues, the former leaders of our states, our fathers, your royal highnesses that are present here, distinguished leaders of ours that have represented us at federal government, at various stages of their lives, distinguished honorable ministers that are present here, distinguished leaders that are also present here, distinguished invited guests, distinguished members of the press corps, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. As I've always told those that have cared to listen, that my governor keeps on surprising me until I was called to the few minutes before I was called here, I never knew I was going to speak. It was my colleague, my friend and brother, His Excellency Mohammed Abdullahi Abubakar that said I'm meant to speak. Unfortunately, I have no prepared speech. When I left office, I have made a vow, two things. I will not come back to government house. I made sure when I was leaving, I pick every bit of my property here. And without any ill feelings, I have made up my mind. Secondly, I've also made my, my decision I will not involve myself in advising or soliciting for attention from anybody in the office because the job of the governor is awesome. For those of you who are the privileged to be governors, for those of you who are governors know exactly what I am saying. Therefore, but it takes Bala Abdul Qadir Mohammed, my governor, the skill. When about 10 days ago, he lost his stepmother and I came to condone him. Deliberately, I believe knowing so, decided to invite me to come and condole him in government house. So that was my first day that I came to government house Bauchi. I must tell you, I'm delighted, Your Excellency, that you invited me. Not only that, after the condolence, you conducted me yourself around the bits and pieces that you were able to that day. And when somebody was making a remark that you have really renovated this house, I said, well, I don't know the meaning of renovation as an engineer. I need to go back to the dictionary. I think you have done a tsunami in the government house, Bauchi. For those of you who are governors, for those of you who are privileged to be in government house, Bauchi, prior to what we are seeing today, knows it is totally a tsunami. You've demolished everything that we know from the governor's residence this way, totally. And you have rebuilt an edifice that will remain forever, a source of pride and inspiration, not only to us today, but indeed to future generations. I want to commend the governor for his visionary and his courage. He has a lot of courage to do a lot of things 
that I, standing here, was not able to do. But we thank you that you are able to do some of the things we were unable to do. I'm very delighted that today, out of the so many projects you are doing, we are commissioning the government house, Babuchi. I want to commend you. I want to congratulate you. And I want to be, express my happiness for the various projects that have been done in the states that have very excellent impact on the lives of the people of this state and those who are passing. Indeed, you are a source of pride to all of us and a source of pride to the young and prospective young leaders coming. Congratulations. Thank you. May the Almighty God continue to bless Bauchi State. May the Almighty God continue to bless our leaders. And may the Almighty God continue to give us the ultimate peace we desire in this state and in this country. Mr. Vice President, thank you so much. God bless you. And for the other governors, good luck and safe trip. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, the former Executive Governor of Bochi State, Nalaji Dr. Ahmad Adamu Mahazu, Wale Mbauchi. Let's once more put our hands together to the Wale of Bauchi for that goodwill message. Distinguished, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Mr. Vice President, with your permission at this point in time, I, that's one very important thing for you to be a good person. We admire all our governors and we appreciate them all. Your Excellencies, distinguished, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my singular honor and privilege to now invite Mr. Projects of Bauchi State, the one and only Kauran Dawlar Usmania, distinguished Senator Bala Abdul Muhammad Coyan, to the microphone to make his address. Let's put our hands together to the executive governor of Bauchi State as he's stepping toward the microphone to make his address. Your Excellency, you are invited to the microphone. Mm. Kingdom Sarautung Ogani Idamuza Achikasi wa Hava Amasaka na Ukua Ano Mwijin Chachi ya Kereya Sunga Bambari Chawaka Kaya Mwijin De Itakia Yudamuza Akwamaza Ayukoza Abani Nigaura Awa Ay 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 Thank you Uh, this program you're watching is coming to you live from uh, Bauchi State Government House. Uh, one amazing uh, part of this uh, project conducted by Governor Bala Muhammad uh, to upgrade the Bauchi State Government House is the additional uh, 3,000 uh, 35,000 square meters of land uh, to build the new uh, government house. Wa sallallahu ala nabi al kareem. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 
distinguished Senator Kashim Shetima, GCON, our leader. Your Excellencies, my colleagues, the Executive Governors of Adama, Borno Gombe, and Yobe States. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Bauchi State, members of the National Assembly, Honorable Ministers that are here, Honorable Speaker of the Bauchi State House of Assembly, my Lords, the Chief Judge and the Grand Cardi, members of the Bauchi State House of Assembly, the Secretary of the Government, the Head of Service and the Chief of Staff, Your Royal Highnesses, the emirs that are here, especially His Royal Highness the Emir of Bauchi, and all the emirs from Bauchi State, and His Royal Highness the Emir of Gombe, the permanent secretaries, heads of security agencies that are here, the secretaries to the government of the zone, the DG and EDC, the DG of the Nigerian Governors Forum Northeast, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. All praise and gratitude be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most beneficent and the most merciful, for making it possible for us to be here today for the commissioning of the remodeled Bauchi State Government House Complex. It is a thing of great joy to witness the excitement exhibited by our compatriots who have left other pressing engagements to mark this milestone with this administration, especially my bosses and my leaders, the former governors whom their representatives spoke, uh, Abu Chugarba and the Walim Bauchi, His Excellency Alaji Ahmed Adamum, and all the other governors who spearheaded the growth of this very important state. I want to specially thank His Excellency Senator Kashim Shetima Jisi Oin, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for honoring us with, the, with his presence to commission the project. He has shown himself as a patriot who patronizes, who prioritizes the broader and nobler demands of national unity and progress over narrow and destructive partisan interests that dot the shifting quicksands of our political landmark. Your Excellency, I have always admired you even before you became the Vice President. Your humility, your depth of knowledge and understanding of the economy and the, the whole global landscape has really made you one of the fittest Vice President Nigeria has ever produced. Your Excellency, it is therefore with utmost humility and profound respect that I, on behalf of myself, my family, the government and good people of both states, especially our former governors, that I welcome you to this historic occasion. Let me also extend very warm welcome to my brother, governors, and my colleagues from the zone. Your Excellencies, it will be recalled that at the inception of this administration during my first time in 2019, we had enunciated a clear policy thrust under my Boucher project agenda aiming at improving the welfare of our people, orchestrating a robust and diversified economy, and upscaling both the social sector and infrastructure these ramifications. The remodeling of the dilapidated, badly mismanaged, inadequate government house fell under our infrastructure remediation program, even as all, we also identify it as a strategic cornerstone of our ambitious urban renewal agenda. Your Excellency, I want to say without equivocation that even contemplated running for the office of the governor, I had always considered the previous government house as an affront to the state. Due to the tedium of governmental administration that have compelled us to, lo to lose hours in a very unconducive environment. And what about our visitors, those guests, our development partners, 
who have been privileged to interact with other nations and other subnational entities in other states and seeing what we are with our demographics, with our historical pedigree at the center of new politics in Nigeria. My tenancy of the government house from 2019 provided an instant and compelling justification for my earlier convening and indeed brought to the fore the agency of holistically resetting the architectural and psychological milieu of both state government house. Characterized by inadequate space, as described by the previous speaker, I needed no further conviction that the question of remodeling the government house had been overstaken by whether it will be done, but it's just a matter of time. The pertinent question had become when and indeed how. That I kept it on hold was born of the dictum that what concerns us come last. As the pilot of our dream reconstruction effort, I and my family could afford to suffer personal inconveniences if that was going to serve the people of Bochy State. But it was a delicate balancing act between, on one hand, self-denial, on the other, operational efficiency, minimum convenience, the image of the state, and the security of both the governor and those working around him that were exposed to the vagaries of a lot of challenges, security bridges, and so on. So we decided to ask, what you see today is the outcome of the decision and action. Standing on those hollow tufts of our government house where a generation of patriots living and dead diligently serve the state, Your Excellency, I feel a modest sense of fulfillment, not just because we dared, but because we dared it in a big way. Let me quickly say that over the years I have developed the paradigm of big thinking in government. Big thinking allows us to envision the future to deploy today's resources in a manner that anticipates the needs of our great-grandchildren and not just our children. With big thinking, we avoid the, avoid the innocent mistakes that limited the vision of our highly patriotic progenitors who built narrow bridges, constructed single-lane roads, and captured the electricity to take care of limited number of consumers, domestic and corporate. Nigeria and Nigerians are still suffering the consequences of those actions that were, were taken, obviously, with the best intention and because of the consciousness of limited resources. Your Excellency, this big project is an isolated case. Whether we are talking about the dualized airport road or the ongoing dualization of the major road linking the headquarters of the five other emirates of the state, our goal is to establish legacy projects capable of sustaining the ambitious developmental needs of our people across time and space. Our vision is to replicate and, if possible, improve on those assets that attract our people to Europe, the Middle East, and Americas, so that with time, the financial hemorrhage that attends foreign expeditions will abet, and Nigeria and neighbor to state enjoy the benefits of internal tourism, where indeed we excel. We believe we can do it, and to the glory of God, the remodel house has been done, and your presence is an assertion of that humble achievement. Your Excellency, our highly respected Vice President, my dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, the scope of the project has already been described by the contractor, but suffice it to say, it comprises of this Dr. Rilwan Suleiman Grandstand, the International Conference Center, the Banquet Hall, expansion of the existing governor's residence, the new senior staff residences, other are the, others are the government house clinic, a new mosque, a firehouse, vehicle maintenance unit, central kitchen, shop and canteen powerhouse, water house, fuel service area, six number entrance gate houses with armory and two number pedestrian gates and an animal house, abattoir, store mini banquet hall, external works, 
drainages, etc., etc. Your Excellency, the Vice President, as we undertake today's commissioning, permit me to place on record this is simply a continuation of the infrastructural milestone that the various nooks and crannies are benefiting and the continuation of the tradition of Bochy State. And it is not a coincidence that the two governors who spoke, they are known for quality. That is Major General Abu Garba. When you go to town and you see the multipurpose building, it was built by him. Governor Ahmed Adamu Maazu is known for quality, a tested technocrat and professional, whose test is beyond my reach, and I was very happy. When of all people, Ahmed Adamu Maazu, who is always very critical with his compliments, looked at me in the eyes and said, Bala, I'm for you, that you are almost exceeding my test. Your Excellency, you made my day that day, and you don't know how much I respect you in terms of the delivery of projects and programs that most of you previously did in Boucher State. We have either built a new health facilities in some places or renovated already existing ones, primary health care centers. The package includes supplies of needed medical equipment. We have met so many in, in size, in the villages, in the rural areas, and in the towns. I don't want to bother you so much with this speech. Suffice it to say that our approach is not just to build the towns and the cities. We have even gotten an award when we are good set from the presidency who have been the best state in rural infrastructure. But again, I must acknowledge the contribution of my colleagues because we have deepened peer review mechanism. What Governor Zulumi is doing in Bono, I am very conversant with. What NYIA is doing in Gombe in terms of infrastructure. And my brother, whom I voluntarily and discretionally met the project manager of the Northeast, the best infrastructure governor, Governor Pintry, I have borrowed so much from him. I believe all our governors, Governor Kefas and even Yobe, in terms of agriculture, innovation, and invention, we are really sharing ideas. And today, we are lucky we have the vice president who is very knowledgeable. And we want you to give us leadership. And you are coming here defying all partisan and other consideration. It's a, an attestation of your statesmanship. And we believe we can rely on you to be able to liberate resources and knowledge to master the courage to do things that are astronomical and revolutionary in terms of good governance. We thank you most sincerely for coming. We have built so many houses, including not only in Bauchi, but all our Emirate headquarters. We are building highways and double carriageways in all our Emirates to make them happy. We are bringing inclusion. Everybody that matter is here and is always in our heart, and we respect all the institutions, the traditional and, of course, the religious institutions. And that is what is keeping the security tick. And now we must acknowledge the contribution of our hunters and other those people that I will not mention here that are making it well. Architectronics, the company that built this, is my colleague. We worked together in the FCT. He came with a very huge pedigree and antecedent from America. And I know I wouldn't have been afforded this if not because of his capacity. He almost did this project on direct level. And if I tell you the cause, you will be amazed. But this is our secret. I market you, Mr. Ruben, to other governors. Those who want to do it within good, good prices, they should liberate on your capacity because you don't see things from the point of view of profitability. Before I conclude once again, let me thank His Excellency, the Vice President, for springing, for sparing to visit our dear state and witness the dividends of democracy that our administration is bequeathing. I must thank my party, especially the chairman of the party and all the executives who are always supportive, members of the National Assembly from my side, and indeed, most importantly, 
most importantly, my dear wife. She is always supporting and always there and opening new doors and new frontiers. Somebody that has been underrated. Today she is a chancellor owning the only open university in Nigeria. Saronia, I thank you most sincerely for your encouragement. <laughs> Lastly, to our compatriots, we will have the privilege of working in this trailblazing edifice, even after I have left office. And you have given me the opportunity to come back to bequeath legacies and landmarks that will be your pride. I wake up, I sleep and wake up with both in our heart. And our neighbors are also helping us. All the contiguous states of Bochi, they have been very friendly. I must apologize to my seniors, the former governors. I have not been taking care of you very well. Going forward, I will take care of that constituency. Thank you very much. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I will do the protocol. It is my singular honor and privilege because of the time of His Excellency the Vice President to have the singular honor and privilege of inviting him to commission this project to the glory of God and to humanity. And this day is our day. We really will not take you for granted. You are someone that we respect so much. Thank you. Uh, this is the vice president of the federal republic of nigeria going on the podium uh, to make his uh, commissioning speech of this uh, giant project conducted by Governor Bala Abdulkadir Muhammad of Bauchi State, uh, the projects uh, that make the entire government house to become a standard structure that can compete with its counterpart across the country. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillahi Rahman Rahim Your Excellency the Governor of Bochi State Senator Bala Abdul Qadir Muhammad and his amiable wife Her Excellency Mrs Aisha Bala Muhammad The Chairman of Northern Governors Forum and Governor of Gombe State Al Haji Muhammad Inwaya Haya the Chairman North East Governors Forum and the Governor of Borno State, His Excellency Professor Babagana Umara Zulum. Your Excellency, the Governor of Adamawa State, Al Haji Amodu Umoru Pintiri Al Barnawi. Your Excellency, the Governor of Yobe State, Honorable Maimala Buni. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Bochi State, Al Haji Mohammed Awol Jato. Members of the National Assembly present here, most especially distinguished Senator Shehu Buba and distinguished Senator Abdul Ningi, and members of the House of Representatives present here. My colleagues, members of the Federal Executive Council present here. Your Excellencies, the former Governors of Bochi, Major General Chris Garba, Colonel Bami Boy, Al Haji Ahmed Adamumu Azu, Walim Bochi, and Barista M.A. Abubakar S.A.N., the Managing Director of North East Development Commission, the Secretary to the Bochi State Government. 
the head of service, the chief of staff, and members of the Bochi State Security Council. The Right Honorable Speaker, Bochi State House of Assembly, and members of the Bochi State House of Assembly present here. Your Royal Highness, the Emir of Bochi and Chairman, Bochi State Council of Chiefs and Emirs, Dr. Rilwan Suleiman Adamu. Your Royal Highness, the Emir of Gombe and Chairman, Council of Chiefs and Emirs of Gombe said Al Haji Abu Bakr Shehu Abu Bakr III. Other Emirs and prominent personalities present here, too numerous to mention, but I have seen the Walin Katagum, the Ajian Katagum, so many prominent elder statesmen that are here to honor us. Honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I greet you with the best of greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. The commissioning of this new complex in Bochi symbolizes a commitment to enhancing administrative capacity and governance at the state level. As Nigeria shifts many responsibilities such as power generation to state governments, this project is seen as a foundational step in urban renewal and improving government service delivery. Indeed, we need governing infrastructure to complement the ongoing efforts to build physical infrastructure. State governments are positioned to influence commercial, social, cultural, technological and economic process of life, which is crucial as emerging markets and developing economies gain a larger share of global economic power. State governments are vital for human development and social change because they address challenges like healthcare, education, and security. Development indices in many Nigerian states lag behind global standards, and effective value-driven political leadership is necessary to improve these metrics. By promoting right values across schools, institutions, and government agencies, state governments can lay a solid foundation for future progress. It is incumbent upon all of us in positions of authority to take interventions in developing governance infrastructure as a catalyst to harmonize and supervise our policy making processes effectively. I want to seize this opportunity to personally commend His Excellency, the Governor of Bochi State, for devoting his time, life, and energy towards repositioning the state. This edifice will inshallah stand the test of time and your excellency posterity will judge you kindly for devoting your time, energy and resources toward the development of Bochi State. We thank you so sincerely for your leadership, for your inclusivity and for your capacity to reach out to the other side of the aisles and dual bridges. Governance is about inclusivity. Governance is about reaching out and building bridges. And the current crop of governors, I must admit, are far superior to previous current of governors. And in the Northeast, I want to seize this opportunity to commend our governors for their comradeship, sense of purpose, and commitment. All our governors are united in the common course of repositioning the Northeast subregion. We have no business fighting each other. We are all united by our common heritage of poverty, destitution, and insecurity. More than ever before, this is the time for us to coalesce into a single unit to face the monumental challenges of underdevelopment facing our subregion. The governors are performing. Ga aiki ga zuchia ga baba na gom na gombe. Yana aiki. Kaga pintiri al bornui. Yana aiki a adama. Adamu timi bornone. Shidi yana claiming adama ane ama aseli shi mariki bornone. Ga selkin siyasa. Governor mai malaboni. Ga iya siyasa. Ga kwazo aiki. 
Kauran Bauchi sarkin aiki katafilan aiki kuma jama'a in ce wani abu akan gwamnati zulum yana aiki ko baya aiki to mun gode muku Allah ya dada hada kan mu Allah ya kare mutuncin mu Allah ya ba mu zaman lafiya da bunkasan arziki Allah ya sa mu sanye lafiya السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Sungosh ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, before the Commissioner, may we take the National Anthem, the National Anthem, Your Excellency. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies. We are now going for the commissioning proper. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies. Um, the vice president is heading to the uh, structures that he is properly commissioning now. The main building of uh, these structures is housing the governor's office and other key government offices to the highest standards. The new governor's office that will be among the structures that are to be commissioned by the vice president uh, include reception areas they were adorned with a complete and luxurious furnishings the Bauchi state uh, governor's office now stands as a symbol of excellence it is also part of commitment to transforming the entire Bauchi state by the governor of the state, Bala Abdul Qadir Muhammad. It has no doubt exemplifies the governor's dedication to enhancing governance and service delivery, as mentioned by the Vice President Kashim Shatima, among other speakers. The facility comprised over 60 offices and four conference halls, culminating in the main executive chambers uh, the vice president and his entourage are now heading to the place that he will commission the entire projects that has transformed the entire government house in Boti which is said to be the first time that this kind of uh, uh, reconstruction uh, has uh, taken place <laughs> Na yoka 
Maje 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 dagamu Only, not only symbolizing a milestone in Bochi State's development, but also marking a new era of uh, an efficient governance and uh, progress. <laughs> President is currently uh, inspecting parade uh, as part of the activities marking this commissioning ceremony of the new government house in Bauchi. Uh, the government house, the new government house, uh, comprised uh, the office of the executive governor, the office of the deputy governor, the office of the first lady, uh, council chamber, a multi-purpose square government house Dumat Mox, staff quarters near uh, the new government house, new government house clinic, and staff's canteen and dining room. Yeah, I get it. 
ari kal kal zuwan gaura to ka do kan ki da jo da wakar ta mai nasara ce ya daura in sayayye mutum mai kishi baba Allah ta ya ma ಕೌರಾ <laughs> After the Vice President Kashim Shatima has officially commissioned the projects, he is now inspecting some of the projects um, which are part of the efficient transition that started from the design to construction and lastly to operation as we are witnessing now. It is indeed a quality designed and first class construction uh, inspected by the uh, uh, under inspection by the vice president uh, to provide a successful project outcome as everybody is uh, expecting to be. Uh, the vice president is now inside the building which is a systematic process of verifying and documenting this legacy building uh, by the vice president Kashim Shatima um, here is the uh, some parts of the building that you are seeing, uh, starting with the council chamber as part of the uh, projects provided as upgrading of uh, this uh, government house in Bochi. Uh, the Vice President, uh, in a company of uh, Governor Bala, uh, Bala Muhammad and other governors uh, of the northeastern part of the country, uh, are now inside the building inspecting it to ensure that it has met the standard that everybody is talking about after the uh, council chamber, the building has com uh, comprised the uh, office of the executive governor, which is the first uh, uh, to visit, and the office of the deputy governor, the new government house clinic, which is outside the main building, and the staff's canteen and dining room, also outside the main building, Another part of these uh, projects uh, is the staff quarters newly constructed for senior staff of the government house. 
there is also government house mocks at one side and multi-purpose square where activities of the government will be holding. Uh, the multi-purpose square is the place that the Vice President Kashim Shatima has conducted the uh, commissioning ceremony. Uh, the building is now to the test of time, as you're seeing now. Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State is proud to have taken this giant project, the first of its kind, as mentioned by the two former governors of Bauchi State, Major General uh, Abu Tugarba and Ahmed Adamu Moazu. The project uh, which is commissioned uh, is of standard which was uh, initiated by Governor Bala Mohammed, but through proper supervision uh, of the Ministry of um, Environment. Uh, it is amazing to know that uh, 35,000 square meters are added to expand the entire government house. We have now, we have now come to the uh, end of this uh, commissioning ceremony by the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kashim Shatima, where he commissioned the new reconstructed and rehabilitated government house in Bauchi State, and we are expecting the Vice President to continue. Uh, inaugurating other projects in Bochi State with the uh, inauguration of the 15th Northeast Joint Trade Fair later in the day. I am Abdullahi Aminu saying bye for now.